please, Gwen, Gwen, please wake up. Gwen? Gwen, please. Please. Gwen. Gwen? Peter? Dear Gwen, It may seem redundant to record this. I mean, I'd write this all down, but there's a reason why I'm a photographer and not a Ben Yurik timer. See, I've come to believe that things have to get really, really bad before they can get good. Not even really, really good. Although I wouldn't mind some of that. I guess when you look at the way my life turned out so far, it's about the only way you can look at it. Good follows bad. I recall all the Valentine's days I got to spend with you. I still have some of the cards you gave me. They didn't have your name on them, so uh, back then I assumed it was just some sick joke that someone was playing on me. The resident nerd. However, it wasn't until those not-so-subtle looks in lab that I figured out who was really sending them to me. Sorry, Gwen. Just got lost in thought. Evidently. I've been doing that a lot lately. You know, as time passes, I... I've had a lot of regrets. And the biggest regret is that I never got to spend as much time with you. Time with you or Uncle Ben. I never got to say the things that I wanted to say. Never got to do the things I wanted to do with you guys. What types of thoughts? Just thoughts about the past, mainly. A lot of them about my uncle. I miss him a lot. I wish I'd been more honest with him when he was still here. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I feel I could have been more open with my dad before he passed. I feel that there are like so many things I wish I said to him. Things that he's never going to get to hear. How do you cope with it? it? Sounds a little weird, but I like to write everything I want to say down. Almost as though I'm writing a letter. Does it help? I mean, in a weird way, it kind of does. In those brief moments of writing them, I feel like he's sitting here with me. Weird though, right? A little odd, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, what are you holding there? This? Bet you get a lot of these, hmm? You do not want to take that bet. Did you read it? Yeah. And? I think you know the answer. Just being next to you was a gift. And I treasure every moment I got to spend with you. You made me want to try harder, be better. And I'm going to do right by you. Red and blue. Not too shabby. Spider-Man. Simeon, you ensnared another human being. Someone better suited to, to our gear. You for rejecting us from, from now on. on. We're poison to Peter Parker and Spider Man. We're Venom!
Oh, great. Now he's mad. Welcome, Spider-Man. Where am I? And who are you? Take me back to New York City. I, I demand, I demand it. Hush, Spider-Man. All will be revealed in time. Why don't you just tell me now? Starting with who you are. I am Madam Web. Yeah, so? That means I control the Web of Time. The Web of Time? Yes. Did you really think you the only one? The only what? The only Spider-Man to ever exist. What are you talking about? I know I'm the only one. It's impossible. Wait, you saying there's a multiverse? Yes, I am. And it is real, Peter Parker. How do you know who I am? I know all of them. I know everybody. I know that your uncle died. And I know that Mary Jane is going to be your wife. I know that Gwen also died. And Harry Osborn. But right now, the universe is in danger, Spider-Man. Yeah, what kind of danger? Massive danger. You know when you fought Venom? Yeah, what about it? His race is coming down to Earth. Or they will eventually arrive here with their king. Who's their king? His name is Null. And he'll do not he'll do anything to destroy you, Spider-Man. Which is why I've given you a task to assemble your own team. My own team of war. You'll find out. Now I must send you back to your home. And then we can begin tracking down the others for assistance. Madam Webb, if the universe is in danger then, I'll try my best. Spider-Man, yeah? Before you go, your best is always the best option. I'm here, boss. What do you want me to do this time? Kill them? Rip their heads off? I would love to kill Venom, my father. I can feel their flesh. I can rip it apart like it was potatoes. Ah, <sighs> potatoes. No carnage. No killing. At least, not yet. My plan must be fulfilled. We must destroy every Spider-Man and Venom. But first, I need you to do a little job for me. What's that, boss? 
I want you to destroy Venom yourself. And if you in, if you encounter other symbiotes, I want you to make an alliance with them, and then pretend you're friends with Venom, and then pretend you're friends with them, so you can all fight each other, and to the bitter end, so you all perish. Except me, right, though, but except for me, but ex except for me, boss. Yes, except for you, Carnage, because you are my son. I need you. Besides, leave Spider-Man to me. It will be most endearing to watch him squeal, to watch him bleed, to watch him feel pain and anger. Make him show him what he's lost. <laughs> Go get him, tiger. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>